this is, this is an honor. It's a great honor for me. Uh, I, I love the state of Iowa. I've got a lot, a lot of friends here, a lot of good personal friends, and I, I love coming here. It's like a second home to me. And so when I heard what the governor wanted to do, I was really excited about it. And, uh, you know, I meant what I said. It's like a second home to me. And to see the track be so successful and have so many people show up all the time uh, is, is a really good feeling. And to see the governor kind of honor me for that and honor the Speedway for that, it uh, makes you feel good. And uh, coming fresh out of being in the Hall of Fame uh, with NASCAR, fresh out of a, a real successful Speed Week down in Daytona and coming up here to Iowa and get this proclamation, it's just kind of like a icing on a cake. Iowa income tax now? <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> but I'll, be, I'll always spend a lot of time trying to always promote the state of Iowa. I, I'm always passionate about that. I love doing it. And, uh, and the people, we get so many people show up at our track that we make happy. There's a lot of people that when they leave the Iowa Speedway, they're always smiling and happy and makes me feel good. Uh, we have yet to really deal with a lot of negative things. Uh, in our first couple years of operation we did with parking and stuff like that and normal the, the growing pains. But that's kind of went away, and that's it, it's it's fun coming up here because the atmosphere is always so electric, and everybody's so happy. And I hope we can keep that going. And we're going to work really, really hard to get a NASCAR Cup race. The nice thing is that all the drivers are wanted. We saw last weekend our past champion Brad Keselowski said, "I wish we quit going to racetracks for the second time and started going to some really cool racetracks like the Iowa Speedway." So there's a lot of drivers putting a lot of good words in for us to get a Cup date here, and we're going to stay pounding the pavement and trying to get one. When How you realistic get that, is that, Rusty, to, I think get, I, to get a cup race here within three to five years? I think that's very realistic. I think that's very realistic. I'd be disappointed if that didn't happen. So I would say there's not a day goes by that we don't actively work on that. It's a real tough deal because everybody knows that NASCAR has made a major announcement many years ago. It said we're only going to go 36 races. So if there's going to be an additional race, somebody's got to get one from some other racetrack. And so we're constantly working with other racetracks. they got multiple events and trying to uh, put a program together to get one of the events over here at Iowa Speedway. What kind of momentum does that give you when you get that kind of endorsement from a guy like Kozlowski? It's good momentum, but I will tell you, we've got a lot of that. I mean, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. loves coming here. Tony Stewart loves coming here. All the Richard Childress Racing Team guys love coming here. All the folks from uh, in the Nationwide Series, almost everybody loves coming here. Obviously, two-time champion uh, Ricky Stenhouse loves coming here. He wins every time he comes here. So I will tell you, I will put my name out there and say there's more people, uh, more drivers in total that all race NASCAR that want to come here more than they want to come probably anywhere else. They all love Daytona and then after that they all got their favorite tracks they pick and choose but I don't know of anybody that does not like Iowa Speedway. What do you what think that is? I think it's because if it's a smaller racetrack everybody cut their teeth on the smaller style racetracks and Iowa was the only seven eighths mile track in the entire world. It's seven eighths. There's a three quarter at Richmond, Virginia. There's a one mile at Dover, Delaware. But this is still considered a big short track. And a lot of these guys have cut their teeth on the short tracks to, to learn and get going. And they're real passionate about it. They like this style of track. Given what happened at Daytona and safety issues coming to the fore, what sort of safety concerns do every you time, have? Every time there's a, a, something that happens, uh, whether it's good or bad, it, it, it spurs some type of conversation. Now, with this car, the car itself, the front frame section came off the car. So NASCAR now is really focusing on that car, what caused that car to fail. And then, and, and to get parts through the grandstands, uh, thank God the fence did its, its job. The fence kept the car on the track. The fence kept the engine and dropped it right at the base of the fence. But there was shrapnel flew through the fence and that tire went over. So now NASCAR is wide open in a big investigation to find out how they can make that better and how they can never have a car like that fail. And uh, the frame section of that car was a little bit different than most cars. So they're going to go back and study that car itself and they'll probably come up with some rules shortly. Since you're going to be jumping back and forth you know, from Iowa, kind of bouncing around here, uh, can you just give us your thoughts on kind of what you think the upcoming season is going to be like for Iowa Speedway? Uh, the schedule? Well, you know, our very first thing is, is the motorcycle rally. You know, and that's uh, that's going to be a blast. I'm a big motorcycle fan. I love riding motorcycles. But last time we had a rally, it was like 105 degrees out there, and I did the whole thing, and it was hot, man. <laughs> you know, but now it's 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 going to be better temperatures, I think. We were uh, trying to catch the fans that were heading out to Sturgis for the big motorcycle rally. And what we found out real quick was, when they're going to Sturgis, they're on a mission, and they a lot of them stopped at Iowa, but not not enough. So we moved the date, and it sounds like it's going to be a real big event. But then. Two nationwide races, two truck races, two K&N races, the IndyCar race, which was our premier race to start with. 
and that race is going to be unbelievable. So we've got a great lineup, and we're working with new sponsors to sponsor our track, you know, because it takes a lot of money to keep this thing going. It's, it's all about the sponsorships to keep Iowa Speedway going and, and how many people we can put in the seats because I can, I can promise you we're not making any money. We're not losing them, but we're not making none. <laughs> and we want to get us where we can start uh, uh, doing better yet. What do you feel your role is in um, you know, for the safety of, of people at the track? Well, we obviously, when our fans come to the racetrack, we don't want to see anybody get injured so soon as we see the Iowa Speedway's never had a problem. And Iowa Speedway was the very first track in history to develop the brand new soft wall technology. I believe our track right now is the only track in NASCAR that started with a clean slate and designed the new soft wall. And, and the fencing, are we, our fencing already is tall. Now, uh, with that said, with us never having a problem, it doesn't mean we're going to not be proactive. When NASCAR comes up with their recommendations of what they're finding through their research, then we're going to jump right on it. Because we don't ever want to have a problem like what happened at Daytona, happened at Dive Speedway. Absolutely, and even lead the way, like you know, like all the innovative safety stuff you guys already do. We've already led the way on that. That's right. And we we it, we're not going to lay around. If there's something safer, we're going to jump right on and do it. Now it's going to be a big cost, but we don't sure want anybody getting hurt. Touching a little bit already, you just kind of talk about how your your relationship with the state, especially with the fans here in the state, has kind of grown over the years. I, you know, I've met so many people here. I've I've always thought about getting a second home here. Because I like it so much, I might do that one of these days. Uh, one of my great friends is Carl with Carl Chevrolet. He's a, he was out of Bear Jackson with us for the big car show, and I love that. They provide a lot of car for cars for us at the Speedway. He's a great guy, and so there's a lot of fun things to do here in Iowa. And I really, really enjoy coming here. I really do. It's just, uh, you know, I, I I like going to races in Arizona where I'm going this weekend. But when I come out here, I I, I have so many friends, and the Speedway is right on Interstate 80. The airport's right there. I can fly right into it. In my airplane, I flew commercial today because it was just me. A lot of times I bring my plane because I have more people with me. But um, it's just a fun place. It's just got a great vibe and a good atmosphere. And owning part of the track and being a designer just makes it that much more special to come here. And when a governor calls it Rusty Wallace, said, that's pretty cool too. <laughs> so I'm liking that. <laughs> Could you ever see your future home being in Newton next to that track? I can. Uh, I don't know. I could. I can see a second home in Newton I, and a second home in State of Iowa. Whether it's in Newton or Des Moines or whatever, absolutely I could. What's your sense of what Danica did for the sport maybe in the last month? Well, it was the highest TV rating for Fox. They had a long time, and our ESPN rating was super strong too. So she's really did something. And that racetrack at Daytona, she, uh, she exceeded my expectations. I had no idea she'd run that good. I never thought she could run that good there. And I had her in our ESPN pit studio after the race was over. At Jimmy Johnson, we interviewed Jimmy. We brought Danica in there, and we all had a question. Myself and Ray Abraham and uh, Dale Jarrett. I looked her straight in the eye, and I said, "Danica, do you have any idea how good you ran today?" And she goes, she sighed. She goes, "Thanks for saying that. It sure felt good, you know, because everybody thought she was going to go tailback. They thought she was going to go back and hang out and try to get some experience, but she never got any lower than 11th place finish, and 80 percent of the day she was in the top five. And there was a couple of times where we thought she might win this race. So yeah, she, she really came a long way. She succeeded everybody's expectations. Can you show us your 